What's up, guys? What's up, everyone? Anthony from abfitnesscenter.com. And we're here with another episode today. I'm trying to do something on my phone as I'm doing this. So if I seem a little crazy in here. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Brittany. Hey, Tara. How's everyone doing? Let people roll in. So today we're going to talk about how your bathing suit doesn't care about COVID. Okay, your bathing suit doesn't care that you know COVID doesn't care that summer's around the corner. Quarantine doesn't doesn't matter. Summer's coming, guys. Summer's coming. You're gonna have to get into your bathing suit. What's up, Big Paul? How you doing? Uh, you're gonna have to get into your bathing suit. So the summer does not care about COVID, about quarantine time. Your body doesn't care. Okay. So, I'm giving you guys three tips today to help you get back on track so you can be summer body ready. All right, so first and foremost, all of us have been locked up in the house, and locked up is probably the best word to use right now. Hey, Dana, how are you? Locked up is probably the best word to use, especially if you have kids. Uh, it, it's, been, it's been fun. It's been fun these next these past couple of weeks. Hopefully, we're almost out of this, but... When we are going to be out of it, it's going to be summertime, okay? It's going to be that time when it's beach time and shorts come out and the guys, the muscle shirts come out and you got to put your bathing suit on. How's your bathing suit feel right now? Go get it. Go get it from the closet. Go. Go tell me. How does it feel right now? Is it going to be tight on you? Is it going to look good? Are you ready for the summer? It's coming. It's going to be here before you know it. And with this quarantine, it's going to go fast, fast, fast. But I want to remind you guys, and today's more of a reminder. Hey, Lori, how are you? Nice to see you on here. Long time no talk. Um, so it, it's just tonight's going to be more of a reminder. Paul, it doesn't fit. That's because you eat too much pizza, Paul. Calling you out right on and right away. And there's Gabriella. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Tell everyone hi. Hi. What do you, hey, come here quick. You, you're going to give everyone. <clears throat> this is my daughter, Gabriella. You're going to give everyone. The best tip. What should they eat? Protein. Right. Eat your what? Protein. Eat your protein. Right, right, guys. So that's coming from the, the main nutritionist herself. You got to eat your protein. All right? All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to record for everybody. You know what I'm telling them about? I'm talking about how the bathing suit doesn't care about quarantine. And they got to be summer body ready, right? <laughs> but what do they have to do? This is one of the tips. What do they have to do? Eat your what? Protein. Eat your protein. Right. All right. Go ahead. Let me do. Let me finish this, okay? So you heard it first, guys. You heard it first from her. Oh, Grandma says hi, baby. <laughs> All right. So be careful, crazy. So again, three tips to get you guys back on track. And again, we're going to use this as more of a reminder for you guys to remind you that summer's coming. Okay, so we're going to go backwards and we're going to start with, I put these in kind of like numerical order based on important. So number one is obviously the most important. So number three, we're going to start with packing food. Okay, so if you fell off track, if this quarantine has gotten to you and you've completely fell off track, how you are going to start this is you're going to start by packing or making food for tomorrow. I want you to do two meals, at least two meals. Okay. And I want those meals to be protein based. So I want you to start by getting yourself and preparing a meal for tomorrow Two, Okay. Mostly protein. I want a serving of protein in each. Now, if you don't know what a serving of protein is, a serving of protein is about the size of your palm. That's one serving of protein. So God, again, this is just, I don't know who's listening to this and who's going to listen to this. So two servings of protein for guys is typically two handfuls. Okay. It's probably a good reference point to start with. So that's about eight ounces. And for a female, you want about one serving of protein or one palm size, okay? So you're going to start by preparing two meals for tomorrow, okay? And don't even worry, as long as they're protein-based, don't even worry about what else you're putting in there. Just get into the habit of preparing your food for tomorrow, okay? Because the reason why we want to do that is we want to start to build a trend and build some consistency in there. Because if we're getting you to prepare meals a little bit at a time, we're going to help you get there a lot faster. So if You fell off completely with COVID. That's how you're going to get started. So you're going to pack food for tomorrow. Okay. Even if you don't go anywhere, even if you don't leave the house, 
okay? You're just gonna prepare those meals, put them in the fridge, and then when it comes time to eat them, you just take them out of the fridge. This way there's no raiding the, the refrigerator or raiding the counters or whatever else, the cabinets, to get treats and all this other stuff that you may need. So that's one tip. Gabrielle is right here, actually. You heard that? No. No? <laughs> she didn't hear that one. Uh, <laughs> This is this is quarantine life right now. This is this is what it is. This is what it is right here. I don't know if you guys could see her. She's over here. <laughs> you guys are up. She's down. All right. So, okay. Now, tip number two. Okay, I want you to create an eating schedule and eating window. So what that actually means is, and I talked about this in a previous other seminar that I've done, but I want you guys to create kind of an eating window for your day. So I'll use myself as an example. So as soon as I wake up, I have a serving, I have protein as soon as I wake up, and then I have my second meal anywhere between 10 and 12 p.m. That's usually when I have my second meal. And the third one is usually anywhere between two, again, it just depends on the day, anywhere between two and like four. So as long as we set up a schedule of eating, Where's baby Anthony? Oh, Anthony, baby Anthony is asleep. Thank God. He's asleep. He is, so my son is full of protein. He's, he's crazy. Okay, let's just put it that way. But neither here nor there, he's asleep right now. So anyway, so um, I lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Um, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, I lost my train of thought, Gabriella. What was I saying? Oh, creating an eating window, right? So you want to make sure you have that eating window. And I want you kind of to set that up every day for yourself. Because again, that's starting about building the consistency into your day and into your window of eating. This way it makes it more regular for you to kind of stay on track. So if you're just hopping onto this, what's up, Mike? How you doing? So if you're just hopping onto this, um, tip number three, we're going backwards. <laughs> tip number three is to pack at least two meals that are protein based for tomorrow. Okay, that's tip number three. And then tip number two, I want you to plan out an eating window. So by planning out an eating window, we're giving yourself times to eat those meals that you have created. You wanna get in here? <laughs> <laughs> Can we get in here? Slide closer, you're standing on the chair. Hold on. <sighs> Good, you're in now, all right? I, I <laughs> Daddy talks with his hands, so we have to, you know. All right, so. So that's the second thing, okay? We want to make sure that you plan that eating window. And again, I, I know some of you may be, you know, I work overnight or, you know, I have a weird schedule at work or this or that, the other thing. It doesn't have to be exact. You don't have to have meal one at six o'clock, meal two at nine o'clock. That doesn't even matter. If you're, if you, I want you to have four to five meals a day and I want you to space them out however you see fit. But as long as you have them within that like eating window, you're going to be fine, okay? So that's number two. And my most important tip is to not put this off, okay? Do not put this off. You've put, a lot of you have put this off before this even started. So don't put it off. Start now. It does, don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait till Monday. Start it now. Monday is the universal day to start all over again every week for a lot of people. Um, from some of my clients, that's not the case. Love you guys for that. But a lot of people, oh, I'll start on Monday. Forget that. It starts today. This starts right now. Commit yourself right now. And again, we'll work backwards. So if we start with my number one tip, so don't put it off, okay? Start now. So we start today. Then we create an eating window for tomorrow. So we say, okay, Anthony, I'm going to get back on track. I'm going to have whatever, four meals tomorrow. Then going into my third tip, I'm going to pack two of those meals, but make them protein based for tomorrow. Okay. That's a quick way for you to get right back on track. Please stop touching everything, Gabriella. <laughs> um, that's a quick way for you to get right back on track. Okay. And it will build that consistency into getting this going into the right direction and get it going in the direction that we need it in order to have that bathing suit of yours fit really well. Okay, so we have to build the consistency. Most people th always look for the perfect plan and oh, I'm gonna start when I find the perfect plan. And there's never a perfect time. There's never a perfect plan. There's never gonna be a perfect time. So start now, build some consistency and just keep doing it. And just repeat that process day in and day out. Because I promise you, 
Summer's going to be here before all of us know it. And the question is going to be, are you ready? Are you ready for summer? Yeah. Yeah? You've been eating your protein? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? Have you been eating your protein? I don't know. Yeah, you silly. So that's it. If you guys need help, okay, I'm here for you. Me and my team, Pete Kacharian and Laura, we're here for you. We're here to help you guys through this. We work with people all the time who are in your shoes, who might have not sure how to get started, who found themselves in the middle of this quarantine with all this extra weight that they might have added on. Uh, it's time to take it off. Time starts today. Follow these tips. Start with them. And if you need help, just feel free. Send me a message or head on over to the website, abfitnesscenter.com. And we could definitely help you. What do you want to measure? <laughs> you want to measure? Kids. All right. Um, someone's asking me a question on Messenger, but I can't pull it up uh, fully. So again, guys, if you have any questions about anything, hopefully this video made sense. But I think these three tips, if again, if you fell off way off, these tips will help you get right back on track. If you're just jumping on, I'll reiterate them one more time. One, don't put it off. Start today, okay? Two, create an eating window for yourself. Find out what times of day that you're going to be eating and kind of stick to that window and eat the same times every day. Make it a habit of doing that. Okay, even on the weekends. And I mentioned this in a previous seminar that I did. You know, on the weekends, I eat the same way I do during the week. Because it just makes it, one, it makes it easier for me. It helps me with shopping, food shopping. I know exactly how much of everything that I need to, to have. Okay, and it keeps me on track because I know if I miss my second meal, which for me is always usually protein powder and oatmeal, if I miss that meal, I'm going to be starving by the time the third meal comes. So that's why it makes it easier for me to kind of remember. And then I don't have to go around and, and guess on what I have to eat. I already know what it is. I've been, I've been eating it like I've been eating the same way for years. Again, if you're someone who really needs a lot of variety in what they eat, you can have that option too. But feel free to make this easier on yourself and give yourself options of eating the same things every day just to make it consistent and easy. Are you waving? <laughs> <laughs> just to make it consistent and easy, okay? Again, this is more about consistency and doing it over time because all of you have that one friend that went on this crazy diet, lost a whole bunch of body fat or whatever they lost, a whole bunch of weight, and then they end up gaining, sorry, Deb, end up gaining the weight back. Right? How many of you guys have friends like that? And it's not realistic. What's realistic is when it becomes commitment and it becomes a lifestyle and you do it every day. That's when the fat comes off permanently. That's when your bathing suit fits you good. That's when you're beach body ready all the time because it has become your life. I mean, I, you don't have to take it to the extreme that I did, that Pete, that Laura did, because obviously we're, we're, this is what we do for a living. You don't have to take it to that extreme. But that level of dedication is going to be necessary in order to make this a habit for your life. Okay? And I, I always like to compare fitness to brushing your teeth. All of you on here brush your teeth every day. I, I really hope you do. Because <laughs> uh, if you didn't, what would happen? You know, your teeth would rot, your mouth would smell, all those bad things would happen. But it's the same thing with your body. If you don't take care of your body every day, your body's going to fall apart. And you can't expect to get pearly white teeth by brushing your teeth once a week. It's the same thing. How many people, oh, I had one good meal today and they, they go fall off. It's like, oh, I brushed my teeth once today. Your teeth don't care. Gingivitis doesn't care. It's still going to rot your teeth. So... Don't, don't try to make this fancy or anything like that. Utilize the tips that I just given you if you fell off track, and I promise you'll get right back on it. Gab, tell them the most important thing. What should they be eating? Eat your protein. Thank you very much. You heard it, guys, here first. All right, if you, anyone has any questions, feel free. Head on over to abfitnesscenter.com, and we'll talk to you on the other side. Have a good night, everybody.